Hi guys, it's Evelyn here and it's that time of year again, Bank Holiday Monday in May and I am doing my second race of the weekend. So today is the MK Half Marathon and yesterday I completed the rocket which is 5k. Sorry the sun is there and I got this yesterday. It's cool. It's got a little um, an astronaut and the cows in there. They have this theme MK for um, cows and everything. But today is the second day of a marathon weekend and I'm doing my second race and it'll be the 13.1 miles half marathon. And when I complete this, I will get the challenge medal again. It is going to be a hot one though, so I'm a bit nervous today, more so than normal because I'm used to running half marathons now and this will be the third time I've run this very marathon. But today it's touted to be the hottest bank holiday in May forever basically. It, maximum temperature is about 25 degrees centigrade. At the moment it's about 17 and it's only 8.14 in the morning. So I'm just sitting here in my car with my coffee and got some water, but I don't want to, I've got some water with ice in it. I don't want to uh, drink too much because I don't want to have to go to the loo. Got here early because I didn't really sort out any parking and um, the place where they said to park for the industrial state was different from last year. And I got there and it's totally full, so I'm glad I came early. So it gives me time to catch you up on what's going on. So yesterday's race, a 5K rocket, and it's known as the rocket because it's overall a downhill elevation. At the initial or the start of the race, you go up a slight incline, down uh, about one and a half kilometers, then up another slight incline, and then down, and from two and a half kilometers, it's basically downhill all the way. But it doesn't really feel downhill. It feels more level than anything. But if you do look at the uh, elevation chart, it is actually downhill. So this year it went really well. It was quite warm yesterday. I think it started off at 16 degrees and ended around 17, 18. It also started off at 9 a.m. yesterday. So generally most of us finished by, you know, within half an hour or so. I think the longest of the Stopsy Sliders runners finished at 37 minutes so we all managed to finish in a good time and before the heat of the day came so that was good but today's race is the marathon and half marathon are starting at 10 so it's going to be much warmer by then and as I said it's about 16 17 degrees already and it's what 8 47 now yeah so we'll see how it goes I'm about maybe 10 15 minutes walk away from the meeting point doing a club photo before we start and then we'll get going so so how did the 5k go yesterday it went really well I thought because it was warm I wouldn't be too into getting a PB or going too fast especially initially just to feel it out and see how hot I would get but I knew I'd get a course PB because I've improved over the last year with my weight loss and all my performance improvements so I I knew I'd get a course PB, so I wasn't really anticipating any issues that way. So I thought I'd be comfortable the first half because I knew of the hills, as I said, and then get through the second portion of it. But it's so weird. 5K, even though I've done half marathons and now marathons, doing that distance and probably going as fast as you do, it feels like a long way. So when I got over to the first hill, it felt like hard work but again I didn't do any warm-up so that could be a factor but after I think the first 2k I warmed up all my engine warmed up and I was flowing starting to take over a few people but nothing aggressive or anything like that and I must have felt really good because I couldn't feel the second hill or the second elevation last year I definitely felt it but this year I didn't really feel it so that was a good thing and then I um I just powered through then you can see as you go down you can see in the distance the stadium mcdonald's arches and you know the finish is near so that's when i started to gain a bit more momentum and pace and uh, if you look at my splits i'll put them down here i didn't do total negative splits and again my fourth k was my longest for some re reason especially at parkrun fourth k is always my longest split 
But if you look at my last split, 446, I think. That's the first time I think I recorded um, under five minutes per K. So, so happy with that. And it just means that slight problem I thought I had with my watch the other day when it said I'd done a four minute 1K then, not four minute, but four minutes 40, wasn't so much of a glitch. So I'm excited, I'm improving. I keep improving without really knowing it. It's just happening. But today I feel the heat now. I've got my car off and my air conditioning's not on, but I'm feeling the warmth, the glare of the sun, and I've got my shade on. Look, look how hot it is, or sunny it is. Let me get going. And I'll talk to you later. Speak to you later. I wasn't parked too far away. It's been about 9.08 now. It's been about five minutes. Can you see the that line in the background? <laughs> so you can see me. Yeah, so I'm just walking up to KFC Stadium's just over there. And I've got this loud DJ type thing. Then they're having a stage or something for the people who are waiting at the end. And there's like a little festival. And you can look a little like parade playground area. <laughs> See you later. Oh hi guys, it's Evelyn. I finished. <sighs> It's now 26 degrees. That was hard work. Anyway, I finished the half marathon and I collected all three medals. So, as you saw earlier, my 5K rocket. And then the green one is for the half marathon. And then this one is my new challenge medal for doing both. So how did it go? I'll, do, I'll be brief probably. If I've missed anything and I review later, I'll do a proper review when I get home but I think I can gather most of it sorry for the background noise I need the air conditioning because it's boiling but anyway so when I got to the stadium I met up with the rest of the striders who were doing the races both three were doing the full marathon about six or seven of us were doing the half marathon and there's about Oh no, then there was one relay team, which is four people in that team. And they're doing about between 6.2 and 6.4 miles each. So we had a little picture taken together and then we bid our goodbyes and went to our starting corrals. It was a bit of a weird organization this year because um, they had a band and a, a stage, but when you, we were chatting, so we missed most of that stuff. And then when we got to the starting corrals, we couldn't get behind the gate into the pens properly so we just basically waited until they released each of the colors so they released red first then i was in the yellow so then i went next last year i was in the last pen the green pen but this year um yeah i was in the yellow pen so me martin and charles walked to our starting pens and then martin and i were in the yellow and charles was in blue for some reason i don't know why because he's definitely faster than I am anyway and yeah so we waited on the other side listening to some music and dancing away a bit of a bit of jungle I think they did some keep fit or some warm-ups but we can really see what they were doing so I was just dancing to the music <laughs> and then they did a bit of a take that and, and stuff like that so it was nice to listen to that while we we're waiting and chatting and then they released us into the start so they started us in step in waves so as I said before Ray, red went first and then after five minutes, then we followed through and we ran through and then we started. And me and Martin started together, chatted a little bit. Wait, so much, there was so much of a crowd at the start today, I think because of the sun was out. It's definitely more than last year. Um, and we, we and Martin ran together for the first maybe 2K. And then he went ahead because he's faster than me. And he normally starts really fast anyway. And I was like, today it's too hot. I'm going to take it easy. So I did, so I held back. I was going to do six minute Ks, but I looked at my watch and I was doing between 5.30 and 5.40 minutes per K. So yeah, I was going well and I, I was keeping up to pace. It didn't feel hard at all. It was getting hot, but there was a breeze and a lot of shady areas. So as long as you ran in the shade, the, you could feel the breeze. So it wasn't too bad. But I think by the time we started running, it was about 19 degrees, I think and um yeah so it was good a little bit of an incline at the beginning 
and then just running through the roundabouts because Milton Keynes is basically roundabouts and straight roads <laughs> until you get into the parks. Yeah, so I did that. Then you turn into the city centre and then you turn left. You go down, the first water station, and they had bottles. So I did carry on running. I was going to try and run the whole thing if I could because I felt that the heat wasn't too bad because of the breezy and shady areas. So I was just going to say, let me just run the whole way get it two hours out of the way and then by the time two hours is done it'll be starting to get hot hot <laughs> and then I would have finished so I wouldn't have to worry but that was the plan so got my water carried on running because it was bottles and that was fine for the 5k and I think I did that in about 30 minutes and then the second and then you go down and you come back up the street and you basically follow back the path that you came and that was back up a hill, obviously. And uh, that was a little bit harder, but it was fine. Kept going. Ended up doing the second K or the total 10K when I crossed the 10K mat at about 58 minutes. So that means I did the second K in about 28 minutes, which is, I think, yeah. If this goes on, I probably could get a PB. <laughs> um, that was the plan. And then after about 11K, the heat hit me. <clears throat> There's more sunshine, less shade, less shade less breeze so it's basically hot 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 and we're going through fields and along the parks along the lakes but no breeze it's just hot so i kept on going as much as i could and then i even tried to run through the water stations which i did on for most and then i got to 17k and i know how to walk <laughs> And then I walked from 17K and then I walked maybe 30, 300 meters, then ran, ran to like 19, did the same. Uh, walked for about a bit longer this time, maybe three to 400 meters. And then I ran, I was gonna stop again at about 20, but that, that was the last K. And then I could see the McDonald's arches from yesterday. So I was like, yes, the finish is there. But this time the finish is not at McDonald's. It's you actually go into the stadium. So I was just trying to hot foot it. So I just kept on speeding up. There's more crowds, not that much more, but more crowds. So they were cheering you through, went round into the stadium and then you run round. It's a football stadium, not a athletics track. So there's no track to run round. So you, you didn't feel like you wanted to go faster, but you could see the screen and uh, you could see your names up. So. That's what I really did. So I just ran around as fast as I could, ran around, put my helms up, and then went through. And with a relief, I finished it. So I ended up doing it in two hours, nine minutes, and 22 seconds, I think. Definitely the second half was much longer than the first, about 10, 11 minutes longer. So you can see the heat got me. But I survived it. <laughs> I was happy and for some reason I took over Martin. I don't remember taking over him because I think at the 7k mark as you go up you can double back on people and you can see them coming up and he was going, Evelyn, well done. Like, how am I in front of you? <laughs> that was a bit weird but yeah, that happened. I was the third Stopsy Strider half marathoner through, I think, maybe fourth. No, 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 fourth because Charles, Martin, Helen maybe fourth so fourth yesterday as well but I think it was good going in this heat I did well I'm happy with that I don't think I'm going to do any more half marathons in this heat so I think this will be the last half until I have to do training runs for my marathon training plan oh you don't know yet do you I decided to do another marathon so I'm doing the Loch Ness marathon so that will be in September but my next race will probably be either a 10k or a five miler i'm not sure yet but i don't think i'm going to book any more races for now i need to wait for my next assignment to come through before i start spending money i need to book my flight for loch ness and also my hotel as well so once i get my next assignment hopefully next week then i can start booking races so if i do i'll let you know but yeah that was my roundup i'm wearing my um my mk shirt as well I managed to get a medium one this time. <laughs> oh, I've got a goodie bag. Nothing running goodie bag. When I get home, I'll go for it. <laughs> All right, I'll speak to you later. Take care, bye. Hi guys, I'm back home now. Gosh, 
What a long day. There was so much traffic to get out of the stadium. I could have gone home, but yesterday I bought some stuff from Primark, so I wanted to change them there. And Primark is right by the stadium where we ran to the finish. And um, so everybody's parked around there, so it was chocker. So rather than coming straight home, I went to go and get something to eat. So I treat myself to Pizza Express. So carbs, I'm afraid, but uh, enjoyable all the same. I wanted to come back and show you what was in the goodie bag. So apart from my t-shirt, I don't think I showed you earlier properly. So that's my commemorative t-shirt. I'll finish this tea and my medal again. So that's the half marathon medal from today. That's the rocket medal from yesterday. And that's the challenge medal from both days. Some of these I've eaten. <laughs> got a packet of crisps. Got a bottle of water. Oh, I haven't had this yet. Chocolate Yazoo. We also got one when you came through the finish line before you collected your medal. Uh, one of these chocolate brioche bars. So everything's carb filled energy gels, which I don't use anymore. Something I can use, a zero tablet. So these are zero calories, zero sugar, berry flavored. So something I can try, it's got electrolytes and magnesium. It's actually perfect for me and my um, keto stuff. So I probably could just use it when I go on a proper keto. Yeah, so that was in the bag. It was a lovely, lovely day. It's a lovely day outside. I think I'll go for a walk in a bit, have my shower, cool off. Um, it's a lovely day, but it was very, very, very hot. And I passed a lot of people who were fainting or collapsed. Obviously helped, I didn't just pass them. Um, collapsed, and I found out when I got home that one of the other striders, he actually collapsed at mile 23, so he wasn't able to finish. He's fine now, that's a good thing. It's doing well. But yeah, if you go all out today, it's not a good idea at all. It's just take it easy. And as I said before, I took the first half normal because it was cooler at that time. There was more shade and in the shade there was more breeze. So I'm not sure if I detailed the timings, but I'll tell you again. So the first half or first 10K, I did it in 58 minutes and about nine seconds. And then the second half, which was basically out in the open in the, um, in the park areas, and um, some residential areas, but very clear, no shade, nowhere you can like run against the trees, because if you run on the trees, you're in the forest <laughs> and um, there's no buildings to speak of. So they were really like, the sun was blaring at you. And uh, when I got into my car, I think I showed you, it was 26 degrees, so can you imagine? But yeah, so that second half took me my watch is telling me to move. <laughs> that second half took me one hour and 10 minutes, I think. So all in all, two hours and nine minutes, 22 seconds. So I'm pretty pleased. I was aiming for 2728 because I knew I wouldn't get a sub two today with this heat, but um, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm glad it was, I think I didn't want it to go over two minutes 15. That was what's in my head, it's like, don't go that long. If I could have done it in sub two, I would have done, because I was thinking to myself, should I just bash it out and get it out for two hours and then you won't see any of that heat? But I thought, no, <laughs> not a good idea. <laughs> not that I could have managed it anyway, because um, when the heat came, the hills were there as well. So it's a bit of walking. I think I walked three times in the end. Her fun day, collecting my medals, I'm back home. I think I forgot to mention, when we finished in the stadium, you ran around the stadium and to the finish line and it was all backed up. Um, we had to stand and wait. I felt a little bit, not queasy, but a bit weak, so I sat down a little bit as I uh, waiting for the queue to move on. And they only made us walk upstairs can you believe it how do they not know that we just ran 13 miles <laughs> some ran a marathon <laughs> and basically to to go and collect your medal no so you go through the finish line you wait in this queue you're piling through you get some water you get your chocolate milk and then you have to go up the stairs to get your medal uh, and then baggage is up there 
and if you wanted to go and collect your challenge medals, there's upstairs as well, so within the stadium. It's like, I don't remember them doing that last year. I'm sure it was downstairs. I don't remember going upstairs. I thought that was a nightmare. But I suppose the saving grace was that it was upstairs, not going downstairs. <laughs> that's the main thing. But that's probably the only real issue, apart from the start where we couldn't get over the gate. But okay, two issues with the whole organization. But apart from that, everything was fine. There's enough water stations all the way through. I can't tell you if there was enough later on, but there seemed to be a lot of water all throughout the course for, for the half marathoners anyway. So I'm hoping nobody ran out today. I'm sure they would have got an extra because of the heat and they were giving out more than one bottle if you wanted it. So I'm sure they would have anticipated the heat and having to supply more water. And they had loads of water at the end. You had water when you come off the finish line, you had water in your bag. <laughs> you had chocolate milk at the finish line. There's chocolate milk in the bags. So yeah, refreshments and um, rehydration was definitely there. I'm not sure if the marathoners got Lucasade or gels, but there wasn't anything for half marathoners. There was only water at the water stations and then some of the spectators, they would have had um, sweets and they had spray guns and hoses as well, which is great. Yeah, I think that's everything now. <laughs> have you enjoyed my recap of the MK Rocket 5K yesterday and today's half marathon in Milton Keynes. It's been fun, it's been hot, but it's been a metal haul. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.